and welcome back to Digit Mash with Logan and Adam, and uh, we're continuing our uh, shelter playthrough with our three badger babbies. After yeah, <laughs> after two of them got swept away mm -hmm. so tragically, taken by the cruel uh, currents. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, okay, that was my fault. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, I'd blame the kids for you know starving to death on their own accord, but. <laughs> Not this time. This time I fucked up. Or it was equally nature being a massive uh, dick yeah. and uh, kicking you in the nuts with currents. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But you know we're moving Vol. on. Vol. <laughs> You're dead, bitch. Mm, yum. Dead son. All right. Let's just continue on. Uh, so I think this is forest fire level. Looks like it. Like the equivalent of a bushfire. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing we get a lot here in Australia, bushfires. That's pretty unfortunate if it's not controlled, to say the least. Yeah, well they kind of go crazy, going well, I mean, you know, the weather here. I think mm. everyone notoriously knows the weather in Australia is being super hot. What is up with that fire? Mm. It looks, uh... Definitely not inviting. Is it spreading? It's literally a wall. Oh god, is it? Ah, uh, nah, we look fine. I'll keep an eye on that. I think it's fine. It looks like it's just a wall, so. Yeah. Just don't touch it, don't, kiddo. Yeah, don't I'm lose one to the fire. Alright, let's go. Honestly, I think the current was more deadly than the fire. Well, because the current was Hey, look, the fire is cooking our food. It's keeping us warm. Ugh. The fire is our friend. Ugh. That, oh, that's shit. Growing. No, no, we don't have time to eat, dude. Nope. Bolt, bolt. Bolt. Come on! Chirpity chirp. Alright, so it does spread. Looks kind like of. it is. You better run through fast. Well, I gotta feed them at the same time. Yep. Give them the energy Enjoy to escape. Enjoy being fire. a parent. Oh, Jesus. Because, like, what if you have to run through those bushes? Oh, oh at I, one think, point? I think, you know what I should do? I should grab food and then run and then they'll eat it. So. Yep. That's a smart move. Yep. Run and. Oh, almost got burned. Ooh. Yeah, don't play with fire, kiddos. It's dangerous. Mm -hmm. You ever mucked around with fire as a kid? Not really. I was always like really freaked out about burning anything, like my face. Oh, off. oh damn as it. if we needed. You're in more trouble than I am because this shit fucking. Actually, you can fly away, but still. Plus, Smoke. Uh, speaking of fire and being a kid and whatnot, I just remember my dad telling me how. Uh, Whoa, run back. Oh nope. Quick, 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 quick. <sighs> Yeah, what'd you, Dad? Uh, when he was a kid, uh, because they had a big sort of, uh, oven -y type stove thing. I think, I think one of them got burned. Nope, nope, just keep running. Oh! Nope, yep. Ooh. Oh, jeez, alright. Ooh. I saw the blood with Yeah, that no, one. the fire is not gonna let us, uh, take a breather. No. It is spreading. I don't know where you meant to go. Okay, come on, quickly eat. Pretty scary. Okay. Uh, but yeah, my dad had to, uh, like, add. Ooh, there's a tunnel. Um, oh, okay. Start the fire. Oh, yeah. But he used a little bit too much, like, kindling, I think it was, or uh. he used the wrong kind of fuel or something as a kid, but it ended up being a huge blaze and burnt his eyebrows and some of his hair off. Oh, wow. And <laughs> that's why I don't want to dick around with fire, because I want to keep my eyebrows. I, uh, I burnt myself pretty badly when I was like six years old on a gas heater. Oh, shit. Uh, I still got the scars on my phone. Mm. Uh, so that was pretty nasty. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, that's a lot of fire. But, um, yeah, kind of learned not to mess around with gas heaters anymore, you know? Mm. Makes sense. Yeah. What I did was I put a, um, you know Ikea, how they have those ice creams? Mm. Uh, I ate a bunch of ice cream from Ikea. Cool. And as a kid, you spill it everywhere. It goes all over your face, all over your hands. Of course. And I hated sticky fingers. Sticky Reasonable. Fing yeah, you know. It's just a nasty, it's, 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 it's one it's, of those it's, uncomfortable It's feelings. a bad feeling. You can't play games with sticky fingers. Mm -mm. You know, you don't want your controllers getting sticky. Mm. Uh, Wait, you can follow the grass around. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm just going this way. I all just right. went through that way. Okay, my bad. This looks bad. Better bolt. Alright, and so, 
sticky this time, yeah. I, I ate the ice cream and didn't get any sticky fingers. Excellent. And I was super proud of myself. So I was like, yeah, my fingers completely clean. Mm -hmm. So I had the napkin and I thought to myself, I don't need this napkin. So I stuck it inside the gas heater <laughs> mm. because I wondered what would happen. Uh, it caught fire, much to my surprise. <laughs> Who knew? Was no one around? To be like, what the fuck? Yeah, are you doing? Everyone was home. I was just like, hey, teeny Adam. That's a bad idea. Yep. Uh, pulled my thumb. Well, it didn't catch fire initially. I like put it in there, and just nothing happened. Then I pulled it out, and then it immediately just went boom. Oh. And caught fire. Oh my god. And it was wrapped around my thumb. Oh my god. So I ran to the kitchen, uh, with this, you know, flaming, flaming tissue yeah. wrapped around my thumb, and I dumped it in this. Uh, you know how you leave a pot in the sink to soak? Yeah. There was a pot in the sink soaking. I just uh, dipped my thumb in there. Uh, and after that, I was like, oh, jeez. And now I have a permanent scar. Huh. See? Oh, Crazy yeah. Crazy scarring. Speaking of uh, kids' stories and scarring, I remember being a kid, and I used to ride my bike lock a lot. Ugh. But I don't uh, cycle anymore just because one time I almost fell into a big-ass like thing of jellyfish, so never again. But anyway, right. that's a different story. Um... Yeah, so I was a kid, and it was nighttime, and we lived at the top of a hill. And there was me and my brother and my dad, and we were all about to go for a cycle at night. And I remember being really pumped, being on my bike. Well, it wasn't night yet. It was like dusk, but about to be really yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I was going down the hill, because I'm older, and uh, on my bike went really fast. But then towards the end of the hill, my bike like skidded awkwardly and turned and I fell, tumbled down the hill, had scrapes all over my arms, um, on my back and shoulders and a little bit on my face. And I landed near a bunch of parked cars, but for some reason right near the parked cars there was a big ass truck and the truck was about to reverse on me. I was freaking out, looked across the street and there was just some woman walking home, but she raced over and helped me get up. I think part of my bike got partially crushed. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That was a close one. But I've still got like little oh, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. scars on my arm. There's one on my shoulder. And every now and then, yeah, it's just... Ugh. Yeah. That was an unpleasant time. But I'm sure it contributed to me just not being a fan of biking, really. Mm. Oh, no. No, I lost the radish. I thought it was a carrot. Ah, whatever. Oh, well. I don't know where you're going. Yeah. Well, I think I have to go Whoa, this way. That's some fast turns. Just... Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're not good with like um, third person controllers. Even just mild turning. Or is... for, you're terrible oh. with first person games too. Yeah. Absolutely. I know a lot of people who have that kind of thing out where the like independent camera control really screws them over. But yeah, I don't know. That's why I don't we, know what it is. That's though. why we mostly play like side scroller or top down kind of games, like mm. indie games and shit. Yeah. But I don't know. I I enjoy uh, first independent character controls because it, it just feel more immersed. Oh. <laughs> what oh. a jump! That was nice. Oh, they can both eat it, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a fucking feast. Take oh, that. What happened to its face? Go back to its face. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> Whoop! And then it sinks it into the ground. Age of Age of Mythology style. Just. Yeah. That's a game that I loved as a <laughs> yes. kid. Age of Mythology. <laughs> That was definitely something. I think I played a little bit from time to time, always picking uh, Norse or Egyptian yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Man, yeah, I was obsessed with like uh, mytho like ancient mythologies and stuff mm. uh, as a kid. I was really into reading, like, oh, this is so lame, but I was yeah. really into reading about um, Egyptian mythology. Yeah? Yeah, one of my friends, he had the... Uh, Oh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're little jars. Canopic jar? Yeah, yeah. that's where you cut them up and you leave. You, you, leave, you leave like the organs, the liver and the stomach yeah. and shit? Yeah, he yeah. had like four of those, like all ceramic and gold and black and blue. They were gorgeous, all lined up in his room, but I was always fascinated by that. Cool. And plus, like, it was crazy. All their gods had like freaky heads and that's yeah. neat. I like that. I remember I read a lot about um, ancient Greek stuff with Zeus just being a fucking pimp. What is up with my face? Wasn't he? Ah! Pimps! Yeah! Oh, they look pumped. Oh god, you just it's stuck. It's stuck there. Yep. You got locked, Joe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. 
I think we're pretty much safe from the fire now. Oh, oh yep. there we are. Definitely. Only lost one kid that time. I think, mm -hmm. is this the last level? I don't I know. I think it is, but... All right. That looks much more attractive than any other level we've had, I think. Except maybe the first one. I like the first a lot, but... Yeah, the first one's pretty good. It just looks quite rainbow rainbow pretty good. The thing is, a lot of people think of Australia as like... I don't well, know. filled with deadly, deadly animals, which yeah, is true. I mean, it's true, but you never run into them. Well, you just avoid where the redbacks are in your shoes and stuff. Just, yeah. You just don't go outside there anymore. It's very simple. <laughs> it's like, just you just don't open the electrical box. Oh, yeah, don't. No. And you fuck her! See, it's hard, right? 